Hi family, I celebrate you. Welcome to Fisty Sub. Fisty Sub YouTube channel is a platform where we upload thousands of messages just to build faith in the heart of men. As you watch this and as you share this video, your life will be blessed and transformed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification button so you can get notified whenever we upload the video. Thank you so much. Second Chronicles 2020. I want to open your eyes to something very powerful and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Everyone at the count of three, just shout Jesus once. One, two, three. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one can. No one will. You. Only God will open your eyes to see what just happened, just in this fraction of a second. You see, when you have to be spiritual. Spiritual things are very strange. You have to be discerning. I'm not speaking just using brain. This is not brain work. Brain work cannot do this. This is as an altitude in the spirit. So the fact that I'm standing here just looking at you doesn't mean that I'm operating from here. It's a miracle service. There's, there's something leaving a lady. I'm seeing, I hope she doesn't mess up this place, but I'm seeing someone coughing out something. This is a demonic, this is a very devilish, very demonic thing. Brothers and sisters, you have come to a place where your life must change. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever that lady is, I'm still teaching. We've not started praying, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I stretch my hands and I declare, let there be a miracle for that person right now. God changes your life by bringing the anointing in your direction. This anointing you see is very powerful. Once the anointing locates you, I'm telling you, I don't mean when you fall down under the anointing. That's not how the anointing locates people. God, while we're in this meeting now, you see your heart is like a prayer request. And God is, the spirit of God is just moving and reading everything written therein, including the ones you don't even know you wrote. And all of a sudden, somewhere in the message, you see, as a man of God, you must be sensitive. You will destroy many people's miracles. Miracles have um, time allocations to them. Not everybody will be touched at the same time. That's why you see many things happening. I can be teaching, then I can stop, then I can do things that don't make sense physically. Are we together now? That's why you are here. You are here so that God will touch you. It's not a, God is not a herbalist. But when he does decide to touch you, look, let me tell you, as I, as I grow in the things of God, my fear for God has multiplied exceedingly. This God, Ba, is not just mighty. You know what the Bible says? Glorious in holiness and fearful. Fearful. There are things that God can do in your life that even you that he used to bless others, you stand in awe and say, God, hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 20 
and verse 20. Just a little exhortation. Please sit down. Please sit down. Who is Abigail? Abigail. 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 I'm hearing a name, Abigail. Just allow me to do what I'm doing. We'll finish on time. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing. When you are not anointed, you are not a blessing. You are not a blessing at all at all. It has nothing to do with pride. Thank you, Lord. That's the person I'm talking about. So I'll pray for all of you now, but I mean, I was just waiting for the Lord to... You have come, so you have to receive something. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to all of you. These are the hands of Jesus, and I decree and declare the mountain that stands before you as you stand here in front of me lady look at me tap that lady look at me i'm seeing something leaving you this is like a crown on your head this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let her go now i command that spirit to leave you now there's no standing in this place i declare this lady has been tied down almost 10 years of her life just because of this thing i'm delivering her for in the name of jesus christ be free it's amazing what happens that an encounter of five minutes can save you something that has held your life for 10 years it's not very difficult when the anointing is there it's very hard when the anointing is not there promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is true name of Jesus I pray for all of you your name is Abigail mr. man why are you here your sister in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I ask the Lord to bless you you will never 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 be the same for one of you here God is taking something out of your stomach I don't know what that is but I'm seeing something you've been having severe pains and the Lord is taking it right now out of your stomach I command that devil to leave you in the name of Jesus, and I decree and declare that you are free by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. That Let me just speak over that lady. In the name of Jesus, don't worry, you, she doesn't have to look at me. It's not how I'm talking to I command by the power of the Holy Spirit, that devil, I see you in the spirit, you let her go now. And you let her family go now. In the name of Jesus, and everything you have stolen, in the name of Jesus, let there be a sevenfold return. I command recovery. I give an instruction. I send that word in the realm of the spirit. They must testify. In the name of Jesus, let there be recovery right now. 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 Right now. And for someone I'm praying to, God is bringing recovery to your life. I'm stretching my hands right now. Let's just let this anointing, just since the Lord has brought the grace for recovery, I declare people have lost things, but by the anointing, you are recovering things right now. You are recovering things right now. It will surprise you. Some of you don't even know what you have lost until it comes back. I decree and declare, recover time recover opportunities i say it again recover time recover opportunities recover time recover opportunities please be seated the bible says the b part of second chronicles 2020 in fact, let's look at John chapter 11 first. John 11 verse 40. I just want to challenge us in the area of believing. God wants to do a quick work tonight. But I don't want us to just come and waste our time. John 11 and verse 40. 
and waste our time tonight and then not receive something you know i made a vow before god and every time i continue to vow it that i i keep saying lord anoint me to a point that nobody needs to encounter me two times to be changed just once it's okay that once once that if you ever travel from anywhere and come here tonight that even before the meeting you just begin to rejoice because you know that if it is god that brought you here except even if it's a herbalist shrine you won't come and go back the same are we together i'm a student in the school of the anointing i have been studying this all my life but it's amazing amazing the dimensions and the possibilities that are surrounded in this mystery called the anointing i repeat you are not a blessing if you are not anointed if you're a man of god here please find a way of crying to god that he should put something definite upon your head otherwise lock your church or lock any uh, out outlet or what because you are totally wasting god's people's time if you are not anointed it takes more than good intention to bless people there is something from the realm of the spirit that must come upon people that you are in this meeting now and you know not that after the grace you are just believing that thought. let's see what happens no you can know that this one i know that the anointing to solve my problem is this you can know you can know it's true a man doesn't have to tell you he's rich before you say he's rich as he's talking you look at him that's how it is with the anointing you can know you are in the place where the anointing to solve your problem is there and jesus said unto her say yet i not unto thee listen that if thou wouldest believe he says thou shouldest see the glory of god have i not said to you that if you believe you will see that if you believe you will see there is a relationship between your faith and your experience listen very carefully it's just an exhortation tonight that if you believe you will see that means whether you see the glory of God or not, it is still there. Hmm. Whether you receive the breakthrough or not, the breakthrough is there. Whether it will be featured in your life is a different thing altogether. Are we together now? Whether you have a car or not, there, there are still cars in, in a showroom now as we talk. Is that true? Whether you, you have a house or not there are still houses empty and available so it's one thing for that reality to be available but it's another thing for that reality to become your experience are we together everything we so desire brothers and sisters is available in christ it's a reality in the realm of the spirit but there are systems in the kingdom that can capture that reality and make it your experience here and now that reality does not bless you for as long as it remains in the realm of the spirit your prayer and your desire is that the word becomes flesh so that it dwells among us then we can behold the glory for as long as it is still in the realm of the spirit it doesn't profit you what good is it if you keep having dreams and see yourself rising and then it never manifests open doors in the dreams close doors in your experience lifting in the spirit or whatever visions you're having but in the physical nothing seems to happen the bible says if thou wouldest believe you will think this is a very little expression if you will believe truly it says you will see my god that means i can stand here desiring a lot of things in my life and god is saying all those things that look far you can the word see here does not just mean view it uh -uh. it means capture it let it be your experience if you will believe believe and second chronicles 
chapter 20 and verse 20 guides us on the dimensions of believing second chronicles 2020 and here's what he says jehoshaphat stood and said hear me o judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem two believings here the first belief notice is a big b believe in the lord your god that's the first dimension of your believing believe in the lord your god to believe in the lord does not just mean to agree that he's alive mm -mm. to believe in the lord your god number one means to be convinced and convicted about who god really is and what he's able to do you don't just sit down and casually believe believe is a product of of a contemplation that happens in your spirit by the way let me advise you for a very long time we preachers have been telling people that believing just happens in your spirit believing must happen in your spirit your mind and your body the entire tripartite nature of man is involved in believing i guarantee you believe alone with your spirit you will never get anything your mind needs to get to that state too your body needs to participate it's a well-meaning teaching but it's not a complete teaching you believe god spirit soul and body because your entire tripartite nature has a role to play in the manifestation of the promises of god for you believe in the lord your god notice he didn't say believe in jesus in fact he didn't say believe in god believe in the lord when the bible uses the word lord is a very interesting expression because the, the word lord there means is, is from the word adon it means master it means owner it means manipulator are we together yes believe in the lord your god get to a point by the spirit where you are convinced that he's not scamming you get to a point where you are convinced it's a point of unbendable persuasion that you believe that if god says he's going to change my family truly he will it's amazing how many action movies we act in church you will think we really believe god but we don't some of you as you are seated right now if i ask you do you believe god can change your life you will say yes just because your head was nodding up and down doesn't mean you believe are we together now it's a revelation man of god do you believe in the anointing yes i believe but it's not true because it's not showing the bible says if you believe you will see that means if you are not seeing there is something wrong with that believing are you getting what i'm saying you have to find a way of believing this conviction conviction that the spirit brings that you have gotten to a point of unbendable persuasion that everything god has said concerning my life now regardless of whether that experience listen you don't believe it when it manifests it should be obvious when it manifests you believe it to make it happen not because it has happened it is your faith that will transport that reality from the realm of the spirit i sit down and just tell you oh someone is going to shout for instance under the anointing that's a stupid thing what if it doesn't happen so what is the what what gives that audacity is suicidal for a man of god your, your reputation and your ministry is at stake you don't get up and just start speaking and saying things and talking nonsense i hope you know if it doesn't happen people will say you see this is how proud people end but there is a level of conviction conviction are we together now if i tell you sam to walk and come to me it is because you trust your legs are we together if i ask someone on a wheelchair to stand up and walk to me that person does not trust his legs yet because of the obvious situation so he won't stand up and he would try 
but if i ask you to come now you are not you don't have any experience with your legs that should disturb you you must get to that point of persuasion you see god is not a politician god was not voted into power it's not like there is somebody that supervises him in heaven he does not have a disciplinarian nobody rebukes him listen carefully we're talking about the god of the universe we're not talking about the god of christians we're talking about the god of all flesh god is not a christian he is the father of lights the owner it belongs to him god will not come on earth and go to the camp of christians the whole earth is his own whether you believe in him or not you face the consequence of fighting the creator but he's the god of all flesh has thou not heard has thou not seen the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth he doesn't sleep he doesn't get tired doesn't get weary so when that god looks at you with the same power of creation and says i want to change your life then we now sit down and say oh god that's exactly what my director told me and god said you have brought me in the same category with your director who is only 45 years old you know how old i am go and find out if age gives ability god still qualifies to be god even if it's just by age let's assume that the older you are the more powerful you are god is still god by that reference believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god get to a point of persuasion and say lord based on my calculation it will take five years for my family to get this miracle but there's something i know about you that when you decide to rend the heavens and step over a man's situation one month becomes too much you see listen as you are hearing what i'm saying you are saying amen but something within me is saying you are not apostle don't make a fool out of yourself are we together now if a jimmy is a landlord of an estate and you are trusting god to save 30 million to buy a house and he looks at you and assuming you didn't know it was a landlord he just says kai i want to bless you and someone just whispers to you and say that's the landlord the awareness that is a landlord does something you say ah sir good afternoon i am not even because you are aware something just opened you up to the potentials in him that he can compress a 10 years journey in a moment this is the god i serve the bible says the word of god is quick shout quick not slow it may look slow until god decides to shake himself and say now let me lift kenny now let me lift this and you are surprised even you the benefactor there are sides to the equation of greatness no man can explain it's a mystery you just know i prayed i did this from a to b to c i don't know what happened there i just know that a finger manipulated this are we together believe in the lord many believers don't believe god many believers it has to be in this order believe in the lord your god believe what about him believe that he is god you can believe he's a deity that's not the information required for your greatness you can believe that he's not a man satan too is not a man many other spirits too are not men so there's nothing special about believing that he's not a man you must believe that he's the mighty god and you must believe in his ability I, I don't know how to make you see this look let me tell you when you focus on god and who he is and his might you will turn back and see the possibility of your situation shrinking before him and then you will be brought to a point where you will agree lord you can change my life i believe lord you can wipe my tears there are many faithless people just because they are holding their bibles and speaking what is written there they think they believe no it's a conviction lord i trust you lord i believe you that's why he left us the word of god to help us believe him 
the word of God is a commitment from God to you is 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 a manifesto is to give you room to vet him that means if you have any fears as to why you should not believe him he still leaves the word are we together believe in the lord your god by doing so you shall be established so he says be convinced and convicted about who God is and what he's able to do. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 2 says, But I know whom I have believed. He says, I am persuaded that he is able. I am persuaded that he is able. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please God. Listen. He says, for he that cometh to God, like you have come now, he says, you must come believing that he exists and then that he is a rewarder. Let me see how many of you came from far. If you came from far, let me see your hands. How many of you honestly had quite a stressful journey coming? Now, do you think, please drop your hands, thank you. Do you think that God will watch you live wherever you heard the, someone came from Ghana someone came from Maiduguri so within and outside this nation people coming there are many people connecting from around the world do you believe if you were God will you sit on your throne and watch someone almost have an accident and for 12 hours come and sit down some of you have been here probably since 12 in the afternoon or two or three and then as God you sit down and then say okay share the grace may god bless you i don't know the god you gave your life to but the one i gave my life to is a serious god it's a very serious god we are used to people playing games with our lives god is not just a trustworthy god he is too serious that he gave his son to die and then he will play games with your life no sir he's a rewarder he's a rewarder let me tell you something you've heard me say it if you ever find yourself coming here to koinonia that you are right here safely alone is a sign that half of your challenges have gone um, now uh, you would think i'm saying it just because i'm the man of god here you decide to come here and see the attacks that will arise money that you are saving will disappear all of a sudden oh, every to some of you the morning to come you are not even yet sure whether you will come is a spirit believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god sister believe in the lord your god my brother believe in the lord your god concerning your admission believe in the lord your god concerning the baby i know it's five years but believe in the lord your god believe concerning god turning your life around you need more than a job you need breakthrough you need favor if you get a job of fifty thousand, you are still backward because you should have been working for the past 10 years so now the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100 thousand that god can you shift my what would have been the backlog of the past shift my 10 years to enter my september and wait for me there that i can enter september and I, I, it will look as if september is 10 years put together one of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time read your bible and see what god did with time when it was time to visit people he made the sun to stand still he made the sun to go backward are we together he did something to time when you lose time you have lost everything believe in the lord your god number two please let's go back to um, second chronicles he said believe in his prophets listen carefully his prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies. 
his prophet here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake that means someone who is real that's not what he's talking about he said believe his prophets so shall ye prosper to prosper means to do well he says believe his prophets his prophets are not just people who prophesy his prophets are not just real men of god <clears throat> listen carefully this is where we miss it you must learn this his prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of god it has nothing to do with maybe someone being real his prophets here means the person sent to you listen listen the bible um come sam come darling look at this i'm elijah and i'm going to the house of a widow of zarephath are we together don't you think on my way going i'm going to meet other people who have problems so i meet a gentleman who has problem and i just greet him how are you where is the house of the widow of zarephath he's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because i'm not sent to him i'm a prophet i probably met other widows elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said oh dear you mean it you mean this how your life is sorry eh?" and he kept going the same way jesus saw 10 lepers the same way jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen I know that many people will not like me for what I'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart I mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what I'm telling you and then God will bless you there is an anointing a portion there is a grace designated let me tell you happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you do you know let me tell you this and i tell you this honestly my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people but i have met people in my life that i just prayed for them just for praying sake but i knew in my spirit i wasn't sent to them of course you won't tell them so they don't feel bad but you know but i've seen others i could even wait for them to share their challenges because i know i know the anointing sent to you so believe his prophets are we together there were many widows in zarephath elijah was looking for just one Abba prophet what of other women <clears throat> I love them I can pray I can intercede may God bless you do a B and C but I'm looking for a woman of Zarephath where is she finally you find her and his clear she's not even ready for you she's doing something else the prophet would have been angry to say I spent time to come here you don't even know what you are missing I'm on my way going but because he was sent he had to stay his assignment was to change her life when you find the anointing and the prophet that God has sent over your life and your situation, let me tell you, you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the as if Satan does not exist. It's, it's not just this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say the most important thing is God. Yes, you are right, but you are wrong. The most anointing is anointing. What is there? What is so special about this man of God? This is what I'm teaching you now. People are sent to people. Even the word of God is sent. He sent his word like a messenger. Meaning until that word is sent, you can stay there. But when the word comes, like a messenger. Angel Gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person daniel all that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies he would have been angry to say i'm going to someone else mm -mm. he said daniel i am come to give you understanding are you the only one i 
am come to give you understanding Jesus is appearing by the road Saul is on his way to Damascus brothers and sisters the Bible says there were other people with Saul God would have been fair enough to at least give them something and then he isolates one person and discusses with the person the rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down they just got up to clean themselves and say Kai now well, what is all this one now whereas one person has that encounter sent 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 the word that changes my life sent I have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets and my God did my life change tonight let me tell you if you can believe this he said believe his prophets I know you are a businessman I know you are educated I know you are smart but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper they are solved from the realm of the spirit it's only the result you receive here are we together now believe in his prophets so shall you prosper write this down please his prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you you must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from God to you and one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet God has sent to you is investigate the dealings of God with that man don't just believe for nothing you have a right to investigate the dealings of God with that man what is so special about this man why should I believe him why should I take the word that he's bringing seriously every true prophet of God has a track record of his dealings with God investigate the dealings of God study the track records of his results I think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that no give them room to study the track records of your result and find out whether the results are worth your believing how do you believe his prophets open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions don't just receive the grace alone instructions many times believers miss it because we miss instructions very subtle instructions sometimes very ego stinging instructions like you were seated here now and then i just said everybody shout jesus you know i don't mean to embarrass your intelligence you don't sit on a seat and shout jesus you've been singing a song before you came here you there was jesus more than 10 times in that song you kept shouting jesus jesus lover of my soul and nothing happened and here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout jesus once if you don't have this revelation you can sit down and say please what is we are not children here what is all this nonsense he told naman go to jordan wash seven times naman said me jordan there are clean rivers somewhere and the small girl said you are the one in trouble if you don't go and wash you can go back with your lepros Two scriptures and then we'll pray exodus chapter 14 and verse 31 and israel saw the great work which the lord did upon the egyptians he says and the people feared the lord and believed the lord and also what his servant Moses God performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed God also wants the vessel he's using to be believed the Bible says they feared the Lord they believed the Lord and they believed his servant they believed the Lord and they believed his servant you believe the Lord you don't believe his servant you may not get any miracle 
Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, Look up, please. Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. That means I can talk to you without the cloud, but I keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to. I'm, I'm going that far because I don't just want the people to believe me alone. I want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their both they are believing me God and they are believing you his servant he says and the Lord said I come in a thick cloud so sometimes when God does some of these signs and wonders it's, it's not really just for him alone when God does some of these things oh there's a lady here and someone is shouting another you know what God is doing he's using those things it's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see you can call somebody and say who is grace or who is um, victory and you can say this is just guessing i'm sure it's just guessing but how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one god does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the the leftover of unbelief because you see some of us are coming from different christian experiences some of us have been our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology all kinds of philosophies some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of God prophets and whatever and chances are that when you come like this usually you will just add the man of God to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them and God says not so and he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in Mount Zion are we together it's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your unbelief immediately readjust your unbelief while the devil is trying to lie to you can your life be changed all of a sudden the the power will touch the person near you this somebody you shook hands with turn to your neighbor and say this and that so you know that the person uh, the person can be acting It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we we're, were coming down here and I told him I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now i said i am amazed at how people in africa and nigeria trivialize success i am shocked at how people um believe that success is about luck it's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like i think these people are just fortunate is that true I, I, this were my contemplations while I was coming listen there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake now including the testimony you are about to have that gentleman from Ghana he did not just press this thing and found my name no 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 the anointing that is sent with that word works day or night are we together now there are many testimonies just like his that gentleman you see that now someone will tell you i was sitting and i had a dream how about those who buy new phones brand new phones 
brand new phones and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside how do you explain that a new phone not new uh, what they call that thing not new memory card i'm not talking about new memory card a new phone that you bought it tear rubber you are the one who opened it then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question who, who now who, how do you explain that listen listen we live in a world that is not natural it only manifests the spiritual naturally the, the 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 earlier you got this the better my brothers and my sisters hear me all that you see in this world is only a reflection say reflection the real control room in this our world is the realm of the spirit whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory nothing happens that is physical are we together one of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight among the many miracles we desire is finance oh nigerians finance you want to talk a good news to any honest nigerian right now in this day and age as we transit into the ember month no matter speak about their spiritual life yes speak about their love for god passion new depths but please don't ignore that other one just even if it's in passing just say something about it finance many people want to see financial breakthrough many people are working and they are trusting god for breakthrough and remember the strange thing about finance do you know why listen i'm not talking about money we're going to pray shortly do you know why many believers are poor because in the kingdom finance is warfare money is not just an instrument to live well it's a weapon see listen oh dear what's it ecclesiastes 7 let me just talk a little you was uh i, I didn't plan to say this but ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 let me show you something May God give somebody deliverance right now. Read it, read it. One to read. For wisdom is a defense. Uh-huh. And money is a defense. Just stop there. So we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense. Now look up. When the Bible says you have a weapon, what is a weapon? Something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack. Is that true? If you give me a weapon like a shield, I use it for defense and the Bible says one of the many weapons money is one of them and the Bible says those weapons are not carnal the word not carnal means they are not man-made but my brother my sister this thing is man-made it was made by CBN that means this is not what God is talking about because this is man-made but the bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal he said it is mighty through god that means there is a spirit are you getting what i'm saying that means this thing is only the body the same way human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says, believe is prophet there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this This is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons 
prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal so if you ever see this looking for anybody naira does not look for men something makes it come i please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a Christian to believe it you just have to be alive this is a spiritual realm animals know it plants know it's a spiritual realm that's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it you don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we're sending you to us to get a job Hapa, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal that you are sitting and someone says I'm thinking of you who do you think you are no I want to help you I want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure it's a master we have toiled all night and Jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus god is not equal to two it's not even equal to ten thousand is equal to any answer that god puts there so one plus one can be equal infinity god said so are we together now i'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that god is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life i'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how god has changed this lady's life 
wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer I believe him yes I do I believe him I believe him I believe him I believe he can change my life in one minute I want you to just mention everything you are trusting God to do tonight go ahead Lord I believe you for this I believe you for that Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. Any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil. It's a Luciferian spirit. Let your spirit and let your attention be open. Yes, Lord, I believe you. Mention it. Don't say it's too big. That's the devil. Too big compared to what? Pray, believers. Lord, I know you are able. You are able to take away this reproach from this family. Talk to Jesus. Even if you find yourself crying, just continue to speak. Lord, you are able. Change this situation. Turn my academics around. Lord, turn my finances around. Lord, I'm in a situation right now where only you, the God of heaven, can arise. Turn my ministry around. Lord, I'm confused. I don't even know where to go right now. I don't know whether to go to the left or to the right, but I receive grace. Pray. Are you praying? Kill unbelief as you are praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. God of heaven. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family, and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here, seven children lost, including twins. Lord, I'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life. Something has happened to the anointing upon my life. Something has happened to the glory upon my destiny. I'm here tonight, oh God, turn my life around. Turn my life around. Something has happened. The signs and wonders are no more like before. The revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before. I'm here for a turnaround, oh God. My prayer life has died. I'm here for a reawakening. 
I no longer fast, I no longer pray. I don't know what has happened to me. I cry for help. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Lord, I believe you and I believe your servant. I believe that anointing and I believe in its ability to turn my life around. Walk on any unbelief in my heart, oh God, and take it out tonight. Go ahead and pray. Every spirit of doubt, every spirit of fear, 